Welcome to Minister of Hygiene's Let's Play for Blood Bowl 2. This is the Dark Elf team I just made. The Minister's Black Hearts. <laughs> Blacker and a Bureaucrats is their motto. Of course, because it's the Minister. Ministry of Hygiene. Now, one thing I did a little different than most people do with, with Dark Elves is... Basically, I tried to make the most survivable team. I didn't pick the quickest... Or the fastest, or the people who are your big scorers. Usually it's with witch elves and runners. I mean, any elves decent at scoring. I picked the guys with the highest armor value, and that's all my team is. And the reason behind it is, um, you know, we've got four blitzers and a bunch of linemen, which I call bureaucrat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got the assistant directory of laundry, assistant director of office supplies, assistant director of general hygiene. And assistant director of mental health, because I like my names. Now, the idea behind this is to make a survivable team. And at the end of this, I had about 10,000 points left over. Now, I could have, instead of buying one lineman, went and bought a runner, so I could score in. But, Spike I didn't want the runner to die. And there's a decent chance that might have happened. So, the idea was, even if I lost, I'd get the 40 grand for losing, and... Be able to buy an apothecary because this allowed me to buy two rerolls right off the bat. And yeah, basically I was planning on losing our time in my first game. If I won, that'd be awesome, but not necessary for my plans. Once I got an apothecary, I could focus on buying the more expensive players, like the Witch Elf at a hundred and ten thousand, or or the uh, I don't really like assassin stabs. So so. I mean, against high a AV teams, it's useful, except it uses your Blitz. It uses your Blitz, which is terrible. And it says easily injure, yes. Not as easy as when you freaking foul somebody. And then you got your runners who have the dump off, and that's the nifty thing about uh, Dark Elf teams, their dump off, dump off ability. Uh, linemen don't have any skills, but I'm going to probably try picking up some block or dump off. Uh, or block and dodge, imagine that. A team of elves with block and dodge, which means the only way to knock them down is a knockdown. Otherwise, they're not going down. They're going to stop you in your tracks from hurting them. That, that'd be interesting. That'd be like a ballerina team, almost. And uh, that's an idea. I'll have to think of doing that. So, one thing this does do, though, I mean, linemen have a movement allowance of 6, blitzers have a movement allowance of 7, Throw the Blitzers are my big players. Slimen are my sacrificial cows. But they still have enough agility to pull off things like passes, receives. So instead of focusing on having a Witch Elf uh, or an Assassin or a Runner to run things in and pass to, I can actually spread the points out a little more until I buy those. Now, here's... The first match with my Black Hearts. And it's going to be against a Chaos team. Ooh, Chaos. And, um... Frankly, they ended up being a pretty pretty good Chaos team. The odd thing with them, they had no level 2 players. This team was strong enough that I was able to buy two Wandering Apothecaries. Two! Go figure. But they don't have any player level 2s. They have two extra people. It's just the most bizarre stuff. As I'm assuming people die. They, they had people die on them constantly. That's the only thing I can think of. Yay. I was I originally tried a white on white scheme. But I think the red and blue with white works. And the reason I picked white is because dark elves are always black. Wank, wank, wank. I don't want a black black clothed dark elf team. I want a white clothed. I want to be different. And I think it's more interesting. And it gives the assistant director of laundry something to do with those grass stains. Okay. You know, there's a reason why now, I chose to receive the ball. Normally, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but I don't want him to pound me to the ground. One thing I've noticed this guy does is he puts his minotaur up front, which... Personally, when I do that, I don't like minotaurs up front. But it allows me to pin his minotaur down, basically. Minotaurs only have an agility of two. That means he has to hit this guy. Yeah. Um... And, and it's a lineman, who I don't mind losing. 
And he's going to stay a lineman, who I don't mind losing. Actually, I'm going to just move my lineman here. My blisters are really going to be my playmakers. Because that's the only playmakers I got. Everybody else is a lineman. So, I am relying pretty heavily on blisters and their little extra speed uh, and their block ability to get me through this match. But yeah, check this out. Ah! He kicks it. Quick snap. Yay! I got a free apoth. He's got one apothecary. I got two. Two freaking apoth. That's 200,000. That means there's at least 200 point difference between me and him. Minimum. I think it's actually more than that. But, uh... Look at that. Here, I'm going to pause it for a moment. Check this out. One. 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 An apothecary, two rerolls, and two extra people? Yeah, he's been in a lot of games. And nobody has an upgrade. It's just the most bizarre thing I have ever seen. I can't, I can't believe it. He's got a guy with a 5 out of 6. Yeah. One guy, another guy with 5 out of 6. Another guy with 5 out of 6. Another guy with 5 out of 6. It's like he's not doing anything but... 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 But getting his MVPs, except for his Minotaur. Who probably hurt people. That's it. Anyways, let's continue. The attacker has an assist. Now the idea here was to knock him back. And try to break a hole. Normally I don't try to break a hole up the middle, but... I was actually planning on grabbing the ball and doing much with it right off the bat. Basically force him to react and react to him and move my guys around him. That's really the way these guys do best is let him move out of position and then exploit the position. But I roll like crap. I didn't feel the need for a reroll because, you know what, it's so early. I wasn't going to move him back from here anyways. Whatever. But yeah, uh, this a one. Oh man. So lame. He wild animaled, which was nice. Yay! And he charged me. And, uh... Had to use a reroll right off, which was nice. He only had two. And that's because Blitz! Or Block, not Blitz, Block. Uh, it's such a useful skill. He said, between that and Dodge, I can have my elves basically... Basically dancing around everybody. He doesn't really need... Well... Yeah, see, he doesn't... That's not a very effective way to pin me in. If I can just pull back and run forward. If I don't roll a, a, a 1 on a d6. It moves those guys forward. Moves those guys forward. See, with my dodge ability, I could just poop, poop, poop. I don't know why I'm saying poop. There you go. Move him. Move these guys over. Do a quick pass. And he fucking drops the ball again. It's a two. A three out of one. He drops the ball. And then I reroll. And he drops the ball again. Again. That is literally three ones in a row on my team. Three one out of sixes in a row. You believe that shit? Now, the benefit is I... Nobody has died yet. <laughs> Which is good. Unfortunately, he just got knocked out. Yeah. I know I, I'm a little... I'm kind of a little missing having a... a uh, witch Elf here, because... Move that guy up. Witch Elf hits him. Well, it'd be a one-on-one. I'd move two people up. Then a Witch Elf would hit him. And push him out, maybe. And then I'd have the uh, guy out for the rest of the game on the side. Not out for the rest of the game, but he'd be out for this drive. But you know what? I went for survivability over over um, anything else. And, yeah, Jesus. Three ones in a row. A one in six chance. A two in six chance. Or a five in six chance of succeeding failed. 
A 4 and 6 chance of succeeding failed. And then I rerolled, and yet another 4 and 6 chance of succeeding failed. I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck is up with that? Haha, uh -huh. I did get that kicked down, which was nice. Ugh, oh, makes it so much more difficult at this point. Really, with Wayne up hitting him, it, I probably should have uh, not even moved that guy yet. And then he's got the ball, and he hasn't moved, so yeah, the ball's staying right there, which is a bit of a bummer. I had to use a reroll so I didn't get knocked down early on, again, and it a turn well before I was ready. Here, I'm going on defense, trying to get my men over here, or my... Elves. I'm putting an elf in the background there so that if something frees up, I can. He can score. He can run it in. I can get the ball to him as a handoff, maybe a pass, hit him in. There's nobody around him. I mean, I know beastmen can move pretty quick, and with that horns, they can be pretty dangerous all by themselves. But. Sticking one guy down here is well worth it. Fortunately, we're about to get into a big scrum of just, yeah, this is not what elves are good at. And well, Chaos isn't the best at this. I'd say dwarves are. Chaos aren't the best at this kind of pile up. They are probably, they are far better than dwarf, than, uh, than elves. Well, in my opinion, probably the best people at it are dwarves, and dwarves because they've got all the block and thick skull and stuff like that. They are such a pain in the ass kind of team to play. After that, I'd probably say chaos and orcs are the next two. They're really the next two bashiest. Sauruses. Sort of. They have the strength and they have the armor, but their agility blows so much, they'd have to get a skink in here to get it out, whereas Orcs and um, Chaos... Well, Chaos all have, like, three agility except for the Minotaur. So they have the ability to get in there and, and grab the ball away from you. Whereas Sauruses don't. You have to get a skink in there. Skinks have two strength, which sucks. So I move another guy up here, so... I have a better chance of scoring if I free up the ball. Another one in six chance, and he rolls the goddamn one. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. I've rolled a ton of ones so far. Now he pushed me back. Out of the way. Eh, which is fine. I mean, he had... He had pushed either one of them back, and it didn't really make too much of a difference. Hey, now my guy's stuck in there, which sucks. He is a blitzer, so he's probably the toughest guy you can feel on a... On a... Dark Elf team. And he shows it by blocking. Score one for block. I really want to get down to it. I like to use my Witch Elf as, as my pass. Give Witch Elves the ability to pass and things like that. I don't know why. It just feels neat for them to throw things. But I might change that around here. Oh, knocked down. Actually, I mean, I had a one on... Turnover. I only had a one dice chance success, but... Really, I wasn't going to do nothing down here. I got... Three elves! They are surrounded by chaos. Ain't gonna happen. My goal was to actually knock him down if I could, and then try to cripple him. And take him out of the game. So... He's only got an AV8. Uh, chaos Warriors might as well not even bother you. They got AV9. And he is nasty... I I like Minotaurs on my Chaos teams, but I 
Don't like him on other people's teams. And then I got a guy injured. So he's out. A KO and a... And a knockout. He pushes me out. Now I don't have anybody in there. But he drops the ball. Yay! But he picked it up. But still turn over because the guy tried to pick it up. Dropped it. Ha ha. Ugh. Here I go. There's going to be some risks in here. I've had to make some serious risks. The dodges. The way I've been rolling sixes, I figured, you know what? I should not have to worry about it. But he only pushed him out of the way, which sucked. I didn't run in because I was planning on doing moving him around. And then uh, my one little elf goes all the way around to the front. Not in base contact, just just because, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Mm. See, they have a 7 movement. And, uh, so they have, no, they have 6 movement. He can only get to here if, he's, if he goes for it. So, there was a chance he, this guy could knock him out if I got all the way to touchdown. That's why he's there. Didn't really have enough to put up a cage because I was too busy trying to get the ball out of him. See, there he goes. But see, he hands off. And he builds himself another cage. There it is, cage. What? You notice what's missing on that cage? The front of the cage. He managed to push me back. Oosh. Haha, uh -huh. lucky me. Missing the front of the cage. Send my men up. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. Overpower the Minotaur. Stunned him. Now, there's the risk. Look at that. That's how fast they can move. And, bam. Because I got block. So I still got the ball. Or I still have a chance. Try to pin him down. Push him back. I mean, I could have tried for some elf bullshit. But with the way I've been rolling, I decided it was probably not a very good idea. And, of course, the first thing I try to do is free him up with the wrong player. He should have used his Chaos where Yeah, I know. Chaos where he's going to probably try to grab and run in, but he can knock me back. So I grit the ball. Run, run, run. A pass. Check this out. Awesome. Clear pass. He picks it. He grabs that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I run it in. He's running it in. He's running it in. He's running it in. Two. Two plus. Two plus. He failed. He fucking failed. I rolled a one. A one out of six. Again. Again. If you would have got that score. Yeah, I mean, I would have scored. I would have scored. God damn. I rolled a lot of ones. A lot of ones. I think if you add it up, I think the one in six chance would be more like, at least for the first half of this game, more like a 50% chance. <laughs> half time. Yep, my guy got unknocked out, which was nice. Now, I still, I'm down one player, but with an elf team, that actually isn't that bad. Because you're not really bashing. You try to catch people out. Yes, he moved his minotaur up. I wouldn't have done that if I was him, but that's just how I play minotaurs.
Uh, he's gonna. I'm gonna kick off to him. A lot of people have this fascination with symmetry. Yeah, it's not really necessary. So weird. Yep, throw rock! Oh! Not only am I down one guy now, I'm down two guys! Like, what the fuck? It's just bad, bad luck. Terrible bad luck. I missed the goal. From rolling a one on a on a d6, my freaking guy gets stunned. So at least for the first turn, I'm down a guy. Builds the cage up early, which I think is eh, it's okay. Really that far back. Very frenzied. Bam! Hits me hard. This time, no miracles. <laughs> Here he's just beat me off the skirt line of scrimmage. That's really... I expect that to happen with, with, with my elf teams. One reason why I didn't... Uh, lucked out there, yay! I, I'm just expecting it. My blisters are my playmakers. I do not want them to be in the front. So I... Jump these guys back up to try to help pin him down. And I go to try to hurt the uh, Minotaur again. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? <laughs> Have to use a reroll early. Early on. In the first half. I'm down one already. I just pushed him back. That's probably a bit of a mistake. I should have ran through, ran around, just let somebody pin the Minotaur down. But, uh, yeah, live and learn. Now, I did leave a little hole for him there, but I actually kind of did that on purpose. I was hoping he'd use it. Because, I mean, look. I've got... He, he'd be lined up against the wall, basically. There, he frenzied me back. There we go. He charges. That was probably a mistake. I should have pushed him back one... Oh, actually it wouldn't have mattered. One spot. Or not. One thing with the elves is you really don't want to get up up in with these people if you can't help it. You want to try to force him to make a mistake by making him move forward so slow. He didn't take the bait. Because that would have sealed him off from these guys and my dudes would have hopefully been able to push past over here and just outnumbered him and stomped on him before these guys could respond as well. But no, he moved over where he's stronger. Which was not what I wanted him to do. Because I can switch my heading pretty quick, which is nice. He does maintain his cage. He didn't really move forward at all. And here I go. Trying to take the mentor down again. Bam! I knocked him down. And I pushed him over. So he's stunned. Woohoo. But now I have to peel people off there to send them up here to try to create a makeshift line of defense. Put him there to prevent a pass, or at least give me a chance to intercept a pass. Elves are better at that than almost anybody else. And I moved him to base to base contact. And here's a mistake I made here. I should have hit him, like I'm doing here. Bam. See, here's a mistake. Bam, that's a mistake. I should have tried to go over here if I could. Not with Chaos Warrior. Chaos Warrior by himself. It gets two dice on me. It forced me to, to put another person up with Chaos Warrior. 
And uh, that was just a silly thing to do. Beep. That one didn't really make a difference. He just hit me anyways. It was silly. And then he horn uses his horns. That's what horns are for. I like the little gleam it does right before he hits me. <laughs> Bearcrat 7 got stunned. Moving him down. I still got a lot of players here. Now, I did kind of break up his cage a little, but he's going to just... He should be able to reform it pretty relatively well. Not a full cage, maybe, but at least a partial cage. Not going to be on my butt. There you go. There's... There he goes. Yeah, he managed to make a full cage. I forgot about that guy coming down there. So we rebuilt his cage. I mean... Bam. Bummer for him. Freed my guy up. But really the weak point of his cage is over here with some beastmen. And push him back. Yeah, it's a one-off chance, but frankly, I'm getting a little desperate here. <laughs> Actually, it's almost preferable he scores. Because then I might be able to run in a thing, and I try to foul his... Uh, his Minotaur here. There it goes. Oh! Bam! Now, I use... Always use... Ah, uh, see? Check that out. Stunned. I got kicked in. I swear, it's like... I know it's a 1 in 6 chance, but it seems a lot worse. It seems a lot worse than that for me. Way worse than that for me. Now, one thing with having Chaos Warriors is that is you, you need to slow down a little bit, let the Chaos Warriors catch up. But um, if you're willing to do a 1 in 6 chance of, of having them fall down, it's fine. It works. See, it worked for him there. And he's just knocking me around here. I don't have dodge, so he just gets pushed back and knocked down. I don't really have the manpower now to uh, really challenge that cage very well. Haha, -ha. yay for me. Definitely, I'm gonna. I would always leave somebody back here because with elves, any any quick agile team, handing that ball off, and getting people down the the field quick, is definitely a very valid strategy. Now, again, I should have probably pulled forward, moved over here. Oh, look at that! Another one out of six. Oh, so bad. Out of them, it's the only one that had to did a going for it, and he freaking failed. Terrible. Terrible. You know the other people did going for it. It's, it's fucking lame. Yep, touchdown. Oh, there's the generic cheerleaders. Lame. I want to see some Dark Elf cheerleaders. Dark Hill cheerleaders. Yeah, I'm down two players. It really sucks. Uh, I'm just putting the minimum people up here. One guy over here in case magic happens and I need to get a pass to him. But otherwise I'm focusing on punching through one flank. He got a reroll. Three and I'm down to zero. And he's got two. Now move my guys up here. Mm. Yeah. Smells like a good old fashioned fight. 
Yeah, knock him the fuck down. Actually, that was to pin him in place. Ah, oh, see, it rolled like crap. Knocked down. What's with all these ones and and myself getting knocked down? I mean, anything else but myself getting knocked down, that guy would be where I needed him to be, which is not next to me. Of course, look at that. <laughs> I killed his minotaur head on. <laughs> oh, so terrible. He used his apothecary, though. But of course, so he's not dead dead, but... Yeah, awesome. You didn't get points for that. If they save, you don't get points for killing them, even though you technically did. That's kind of a bummer. So that gave me another chance, which was useful. It gave me another chance to, to, to fill my strategy over there. It was like his first move of the game, so he didn't get to do dick. I actually got to run this guy way forward. I probably should have just... Oh, well, he didn't have the movement to keep running forward all the way. And look at that! Another one out of six chance! And he fucking drops it again. Another one out of fucking six chance. And he fucking drops it. Fucking again. Fucking ridiculous. And I'm saying fuck a lot, but fuck me, man. That's just crazy. That's so shitty. So bad. It's terrible. It's terrible. As somebody I once knew used to say, it's, it's terrible. 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 <laughs> Man. So many one out of sixes on this one. <laughs> I got so freaking unlucky. That's the way the die rolls sometimes. See, that allows him to really... I mean, push my min back. I have no rerolls. He went to grab it, and he dropped it. I've used so many rerolls already from all my other fucking shitty things happening. That, uh, I didn't have any to use. And this is dangerous. And he's just gonna push me. I mean, the whole strategy was to open up a lane, let somebody run down up to here, and get that fucker in. And it ain't happening. Now, KO'd. Oosh. Now, I ended up using my second Apothecary, because there was only two turns down, and I was basically betting that I wouldn't have anybody die on me again. So I still... He didn't push me back far enough to, to stop my tactic. So I blocked with him, moved him. Now, see, he could get there. He almost... Going for it, yeah. The six have been bad to me so far. And then, here it is. I go for a pass. Go for a pass. And he fucking drops it again. Check that out. That's the four-plus pass I made. The two-plus catch. The two-plus catch. I fucking rolled another fucking one on it. It's like, oh, throw me four plus rolls all day. I'll fucking make them. You give me a two, uh, two plus? Nope. No, no. Not gonna happen. I mean, fuck me. It was so close. I mean, look. I had two turns left. I didn't really have... He was gonna block in this little path I made pretty quick with what he has out here. I didn't have much of a choice than to try for it. And... I mean, I had a decent chance, a 50-50 chance of getting to him, a 1 in 6 chance of catch of, of missing it. So, yeah, 50 chance of getting it to him, an 83% chance of catching the motherfucker, and he fucks up the catch. He fucks up the catch. It's, it's, it's goddamn ridiculous. And this is a home run. What the fuck happened? I did not concede that. What the hell happened? What the what the fuck? My replay ditched. Okay, well let's watch replay. Jesus Christ! What the hell happened? <laughs> I'm gonna have to fast forward through. Sorry guys, I that was just that's just nutty. I'll I'll try to uh, edit that out. Okay guys, this is the uh, hope the edit. Okay. Hope the edit worked, and well it should have. Hope it isn't too distracting from the chunk I had to cut out. I, I fast-forwarded to this as fast as I could. And you don't really have to see all that shit you've seen before, so I cut it out. I hope I cut it out. I should have by the time you're watching this. And uh, we'll get on with the last two turns. I mean, I still kind of have a chance. If he can pick it up and run it in, he can still score, so it's not a, a loss. Although, considering the other team still has a turn, 
I doubt I'm I, I doubt I'm gonna get that chance. So here he goes. He's gonna hit me and knock me off the pitch. And like I said, I had a chance, now it's gone. No chance now. I mean hell if I'd had time I would have set up the other side to to move down and I could have tried to do cross passing and shit like that, but I kept on fucking getting horrible rolls. So he picks it up, not really a reason for that, because it, it, he doesn't have much of a team. He's just getting some SPP for moving down. That he's pretty much hitting me. But yeah, dude, oh my god, goddamn ones. Goddamn ones, just fucked me up. I mean, I basically fucked up twice over here. With shitty rolls. And, uh, pretty sure a, a, a attacker down is a 1 in 6 chance as well. So, it's not like it's basically two 1 in 6 chances in a row fucked me over there. I had it enough that I had some redundancy built in. Not much, but I had some. And it didn't matter. And he... I kicked him in the face, yay. Of course, he's, he's not fast enough to make it down there. Nope. And there he goes. Look at that. Another 1-6. First 1-6 chance. Failure. Like, what What the fuck? What the fuck? 1 in chance... One, I say 1 in 6 chance. I meant 1 in 6 chance of failing. So all those times I said it, it means I rolled a one on a one on six, or on a d6, and that's what it required for me to fuck up and fail, and it happened repeatedly, over and over and over and over again, like a ridiculous number of times. I would bet my average on that one for failures, on rolls that should be 17% chance of failing, 83% chance of success, was probably over 50% chance of failure. When you add them all up. Um, which sucks. But. But. None of my men died. <laughs> none of them died. And because I had 10,000 gold left over. From building this team. I bought my ass an apothecary. Right out. Even though I lost. I could afford the apothecary. And I got two rerolls. And a team of elves. Who as you see. If it wasn't for those goddamn D6s. One out of six rolls, I'd have two more points on the board. And I would have won. So, a uh, team of elves with shitty luck, yeah, it sucks. But if I didn't have that shitty luck... The other thing that's kind of funny is, I tried, what, four times to take down his Minotaur? And I actually do it, but it's because he attacked me? <laughs> that's freaking ridiculous. That is so silly. I even got a guy expelled for trying to take him down. But thanks for watching. I should have some more of Minister's Black Hearts. Uh, Dark Elves are actually one of my favorite teams to play. Although it's changing Dark Elves and Skaven. Uh, they, they play a little different, but they're close enough. I, I like them both. And they both have, in my opinion, great aesthetic. Uh, along with Chaos, I think they're the best. They have unique aesthetic. How about that? Unique aesthetic to them. The Elves are the least unique of the two. Chaos and Skaven, definitely very unique. The elves, you got wood elves, high elves, and dark elves. I think dark elves look the coolest just because, you know, the witch elf wears freaking S&M gear. <laughs> it's nice to watch. And when we ever do get the goddamn unique uh, cheerleaders in, which they're supposed to be adding from what I've read on Reddit, uh, we should see a much better show than those skimpy skirted uh, elf, not elf, human, human girls in blue. Have a great day and tune in for more.